Hello class, today we are going to learn how to build 1s, 0 and 10s times table. We will start with 1 times table. Now let us see there is one plate of muffin. It means 1 groups of 1s. How many muffin all together? There are 1. So, if we can say 1 times 1 equals to 1. Now, we have two plates of muffin in each plate. So, we can say that two groups of 1. How many muffin all together? We can use addition to find the total of muffin. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Or we can use multiplications 2 times 1 equals 2. This means here 1 plus 1 we repeated 2 times so there is 2 times with 1 because each group here has 1 muffin. So 2 times 1 equals 2. Here we have three plates of one muffin in each plate. It means it's three groups of one. So how many muffin all together? Yes, we still can use repeated addition to find the answer. One plus one plus one equals 3 or we can say 3 times 1 equal 3 because we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 times so we can say 3 times or 3 here represent 3 groups so times 1 1 here means 1 muffin in each group so the multiplication sentence will be one, 3 times 1 equals 3. The next one we will see 0 times table. Yes, now we have one plate or one group. Do we see any muffin inside the plate? Yes, there is no muffin inside the plate. But we still have one plate, and we can say this is one group of zero. So the answer will be zero. One times zero equals zero. Here again we have two plates, but there is no muffin inside. But we still have two groups of zero. So what is the answer? Yes, we still have zero. 0 plus 0 equals 0 or we can say 2 times because we have 2 groups times 0 because there is no muffin in the plate so the answer will be 0 here again we have 3 plates but there is no muffin inside so we still can say there is 3 groups here of 0 zero muffins so we can use repeated addition zero times plus zero plus zero equals zero or we can say that we the next one we will see tens times table yes now we have one plate here we have ten muffins or we can say one groups of ones so how many muffin all together we have 10 muffin one times tens equals tens now we see we have two plates of tens muffin in each plate so it means two groups of tens how many muffin all together we can find the total of muffin by doing addition 10 times 10 plus 10 equals 20 
or we can use multiplication 10 plus 10 we have 2 times 10 so 2 times 10 or 2 multiplied by 10 equals 20 the next one we will see there are three groups or three plates of 10 muffin in each plate we can also say that we have three groups of 10 so we can find the total of the muffin by doing repeated addition 10 plus 10 plus 10 equal 30 here when we plus 10 three times now we see the relations between 1 times table and 10 times tables. What is the relation we can see here? First, we see 1 times 1 equals to 1. When we come to 10, we can see here 10 1 times 1 is from the times table 1. 1 times 1 equals once but when tens they have one zero at the back so we put one zero at the back and the answer also we add in one zero let us continue here we have two times one equals to two when come to multiplications we also see two times one first the answer here is two but we when we come to tens we have one zero so the end of the answer we add in one zero this is the relation that we can see for ta one times table and tens times table let's continue three times one equal to three so when three times tens we get the answer 30 4 times 1 equals to 4. So the relations, we can see it. Can you answer this question? Let us try. 6 times 10 equals to 60. 6 times 1 equals to 6. There is 1 zero at the back, so we add 1 zero at the back of the answer. Here again, Eight times ten equals how many? So we can see here we use one times table. Eight times one equals to eight. Now ten we have one zero. So the answer we will add one z one zero. So become eighty. Now we see another question. Nine times with how many equals to zero can you still remember the zero times table what numbers times with zero will become zero yes you are right nine times zero equals to zero you have to remember any number times with zero the answer will be zero the next question is 6 equals to how many times 6? Or we can say 6, how many times 6 equals to 6? So how many times 6? We can get the answer of 6. Yes, very good. That's the end of our lessons today. Thank you. See you again. Hope you enjoy the lessons.